I'm going over once again, I believe, maybe one time I did make a video about this, but the air airflow system over here, where the air is drawn into the engine over here, talking about the location of the sensors. I believe maybe I made a video about this about one time, but anyway, airflow is through here into the intake chamber of, intake manifold of the, um, engine over here. Now, where will you find the sensors? Sensor, we said mass airflow sensor. Where will you find it? Over here. Right here in the air in the uh, system over here. Intake air temperature sensor. Knowing the temperature of the air also, you will find it over here. Okay? This is a vein air flow meter. Today we have a mass airflow sensor. Same thing. But anyway, you find it over here. Where do you have something that the throttle, throttle position sensor? You'll find it on the throttle body, which is right over here. This is over here. When you step on the on the gas pedal, you're opening up this plate in here to allow more air to be sucked in in here. More air, more fuel. Less air, less fuel. Where will you find the air cleaner is right here. The filter is right here. Okay? This gets dirty, you're going to have problems. Miss airflow sensor, you're going to have problems with the air fuel ratio. Now... Like I said before, you'll always find these type of sensors over here on this one, over here. Oxygen sensor, the exhaust manifold. What, what happens after the byproducts? After combustion, when the air fuel ratio is burned, there are byproducts that are emitted from the engine. From that, we try to keep these pollutants on a low level. Oxides of nitrogen, hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, are just a few of them. But this is what's coming out. And it is hot. This exhaust full, it, manifold gets hot. The oxygen sensor comes here, tells us how much oxygen is in the air, right? If you're burning richer, you're burning uh, up, um, uh, more lean. <clears throat> this oxygen sensor is usually around 450 millivolts. Anything more than that is rich. Anything less than that is lean. Doesn't matter. But anyway... And this one, this is just a picture, obviously, just four cylinder over here. <clears throat> this is the hottest one. Whenever you see these rusted bolts, right at the exhaust, catalytic converter, right at the exhaust, the hottest parts. It is hard to get these bolts out. Get get ready to get the torch out. But anyway, <clears throat> um, I just hope that you understand where to find these sensors. Okay, so it doesn't matter what system it is, whatever it is, the exhaust comes out the exhaust, has to be oxygen. How many oxygen sensors? Depends on the make them on. Let them be four, let them be six, doesn't matter to me. They all do the same, they all have the same purpose. How much oxygen is coming out of that uh, 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 engine or kind of converter? And then we adjust the air fuel ratio according to either more fuel or less fuel. That's his, That's the job. Mass airflow sensor doesn't matter what make or model. How much air is going through? How much are we opening up the throttle? The temperature of the air. The coolant temperature sensor. What's the temperature of the coolant temperature in the engine, right? Is the engine hot? Is the engine cold? Are we on sea level? Are we above sea level? Are we in Colorado on the mountains where sea level is different? <clears throat> then we have to adjust the proper air, the proper fuel. Otherwise, the engine will choke itself. So these sen sensors are always inputs. Remember that. Inputs to where? Is it the BCM or ECM or PCM? It's the ECM and the PCM. What is BCM? Controls accessories. Like I'm going to go over schematic. When the, you have problems with the lights, <clears throat> it could be a relay. Or, when, or it could be we have a problem with all the lights. The parking, the headlamp, the front, the back. It's obviously it's just not one bulb. Could be a relay. Could be the body control module. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed these videos. Go to my uh, <coughs> um, channel, Joe Electronics Schematics for Auto. Well, hopefully I can show you more pictorial pictures. I think they're much more visual, much more easier to understand than sometimes seeing a schematic. Schematic is also good, obviously, after troubleshoot. But I think this gives you an overview when... Let's say this, you open this up, the filter is in here. Obviously, you have to change it in every 20,000 miles, whatever it is, the filter. Anyway, just like the oil filter, you have to change. Just like the uh, uh, fuel filter. But remember that thing that I told you in the other video about 
<clears throat> the oil because the one customer is complaining to me saying that oh she went to the gas station for full service and they told her she was low on on, uh, on oil <clears throat> like i just mentioned before i think it bears repeating make sure when you check your oil your engine is off at least a couple of minutes wait until it goes back to the oil pan the trick of the trade was to go and to do it when it's idling or when you have the car on and then he'll tell you oh you know what you're quarter down i have to give you a quart of oil no that's because the oil didn't have a chance to go back into the pan like i just explained before so just try not to fall for these tricks anyway <clears throat> thanks for watching bye